All right, y'all, it's T-Biz, and I got some new pickups. Uh, I'm staying at my folks' house in uh, Georgetown, by the way. It's about 30 miles away from Austin, and uh, I want to go back home because I'm sick of being here. It's boring here. I don't have the same friends that used to live here. Uh, everybody's out and gone, you know, and uh, it's just boring here. It's really, really boring. Actually, I do know one high school chum that uh, lives down the street, but he's a douche, so I don't want to go hang out with him. But anyhow, um, anyhow, I'm just, uh, just really want to go home. And, uh, and another note too is, uh, me and Chris played, um, disc golf yesterday and it really wore me out. My feet are killing me. I need new shoes. Um, yeah, we went and played a really long course in this town called Round Rock. It's next to, it's in between, you know, where I, kind of where I live and, uh, where my folks live. But anyways, it's a long course. But anyways, make long story short. I'm pretty haggard. I want to go home. And, uh, but since I've been here, I've been hitting up the family dollar and I pretty much almost knocked out all the Imagine X Series 2 figures, which is really cool. And, uh, I'm only missing one guy. I'm only missing the, uh, well, you'll see. But, um, picked up the cool little, uh, squirrel, flying squirrel flight suit guy or whatever. This guy's pretty cool. I like him. I thought I wouldn't care, but yeah, he's pretty cool. His, uh, his gear is pretty neat. It's kind of a weird. Uh, I can get him out of there. Jeez. Yeah, you have this kind of harder plastic mold. I guess they're both almost the same kind of plastic, but they feel different. You got that glued there. I guess it's probably glued and pegged. But yeah, it's one of those cool like base jumper suits with the camera with the GoPro right there or whatever. And yeah, here's a little dude looking like he's ready to be extreme. He's got an extreme mohawk because if you're going to be extreme, then you should have an extreme mohawk or devil lock or whatever that is. But uh, yeah, very cool. I thought it was cool to pick this up. I would think this would be a character I wouldn't care about, but yeah, this guy's cool. And I picked up the Yeti or the Bigfoot or the guy in the Bigfoot suit or the furry guy or whatever you want to call him. But um yeah, it comes with the big old fish club or something. They're big old fish. And you can take his... Ah, I think it's hard to come off. And he's winking. Either he's winking because um, he's winking at you or winking at some hot chick walking by or he's sweaty in this Yeti suit and that's sweat getting in his eye. And he's just like, oh, I want to get out of this thing. But you're going to get back in because this, this guy's cool. I like him. He's really cool. I like Bigfoot's Yetis or whatever. I, I like him. They're fun. And then I got this guy, which I've named uh, Lasso Larry, the cowboy, who uh, his only um, his only weapon is a lasso. Yeah, he's uh, he's one of the um, he's a friendly cowboy sheriff guy. He uh, he only lassos criminals, you know, into submission or justice or whatever. He does use a gun, but this guy's cool, and uh, yeah. He's a cool dude. Looks like maybe Russell Crowe or something. I don't know. He's got a gun in there, but he's not going to use it. It's all tucked away. Really weird. But um, but I found another cool thing you could do is you could put, since this is kind of almost the same color as the lavender uh, muscle shirt as the skeleton guy, you can have yourself a, a whatchamacallit, a, a skeleton sheriff. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Ready to blast some dudes with his old musket rifle. It's pretty nifty. So yeah, I was stoked to get this guy. I was stoked that I got all these guys and no extras. It sucks that I didn't find extras because I told Starner if I found him another, uh, whatchamacallit, another, um, uh, another steampunk guy, I'd pick it up for him. But no, I, did, I didn't find one. Maybe on my, I might cop the bus tomorrow and go cruising around some of the dollar stores and see if I can find any um, when I go back to Austin. But uh, I've got the caveman dude. This guy is really cool. I like him a lot. I, I think ever since I saw Vampire's video, I didn't know he was a, a blind back figure for a long time. But but at first seeing him on Vampire's video, I was like, oh, this guy's cool. I thought he came with the set or something. But uh, no, he doesn't. He's you know in the series. But yeah, he's got a funny face. Real funny face. But yeah, it's cool. Cool nonetheless. I like this guy. He's awesome. He's awesome sauce. And it comes with the spear. Very cool. 
And a lot of these guys have the same, like him and the Yeti have the same kind of weird little, weird little like, I don't know, Nestle Crunch Bar type sculpt or whatever on their gear, which is kind of weird, weird texture. And then I got this guy, because I know a bunch of people, a bunch of homies love this dude. And I was kind of just like, ah, whatever, but he's not bad. He's kind of cool. It's a Frankenstein. It's a big old Frankenstein feet. The, the um, riveted shoes. He's got his electro pack or whatever. I forget what you call those. But yeah. He's been electrocuted in action. It's cool because uh, I guess when you take this off, he's just dead. He's just like not, you know, he's motionless. But when you add this killer pack on, he's just like, uh, he's, uh, he's alive and ready to, uh, somewhat alive, reanimated, and ready to go be Frankenstein, ready to go uh, do what Frankensteins do. Um, and yeah, very, very cool. Nice little sculpt. And what's cool with these is you can um, interchange these with other guys. So let's, uh, let's do it some justice. And... Plus, let's uh, add the to the other collection. I mean, to this collection, the snake guy and then the steampunk guy. So yeah, have them all now. So it's really, really cool. Except for the snake eye snow guy. I, I wish I had that dude. He was pretty cool. I wouldn't mind picking him up. But yeah, this doesn't work on Brainiac. Oh well, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna fly. It might work on the lavender skeleton dude. Yeah, it works, but it just doesn't. It does nothing for me. But yeah, it's a look at the um, my latest Imagine X pickups, and so yeah, I finally get got most of the figures I want from Series Two, which is cool. If I can find that other guy, that's awesome. If I can't, you know, whatever. But yeah, if I do find more Series Two, I'll try to pick them up and uh, for doubles for everybody and stuff who don't have them. But um, but right now these are all only ones that I found, and they're all keepers right now. But um, anyhow, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, yeah, I'll have a more. Uh, stuff on the way soon because um so i'll be back home and i'll be able to do catch-up stuff all right later